Hello there, my name is Thomas Kralo and welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk all things trade, finances and money in general. And this is vlog number four, I believe, of us moving to Dubai all of a sudden. And now we are looking for the office furniture. So yesterday we walked around Dubai Mall quite a lot. We bought a few things like a printer and wireless headphones, which are twice as cheap as the AirPods, Apple. And I hate Apple, even though I'm using Apple and something I've done a separate video on. And I bought myself AirPods from a different company, which are twice as cheap. You can shower with them and the sound is better. So something I'll cover later on perhaps. So we are still looking for office furniture, something affordable, something nice. Well, affordable meaning that costs a rational amount of money and not like a office table for $20,000, which is nice, but we might decide to move to the United States or to Zimbabwe or to the Antarctica, whenever at any given point, like we decided to move to Dubai, you know, <laughs> within a few days. So currently still looking for furniture and uh, well, let's do it. We need to accommodate two offices inside uh, our apartment. I don't really need know where you need a safe in Dubai, but you can get one for sure. One of the things that Dubai is really good at is at having different stores with real cool decorations for the apartment and the house in general. So all the models, different, all different cars and boats and canoes and whoever this guy is. And just in general, the gold things, gold things gold with marshmallows that's nice so and uh most definitely once we get all the most important stuff into the apartment we'll have to go for some interesting details for our beautiful nice new duplex definitely we'll have to spend some money on this useless rubbish which is just so nice and tasty oh this is for eating the black caviar i love the black caviar so perhaps that might have been for me oh yeah sophia and the smells with all the candles and all this good stuff which just costs a lot of money and is a pain for me to pay for but and Sophia cannot live without this stuff <laughs> but at least there are good sizes for Sophia Sophia <laughs> now this is a candle I'm talking about this is a real nice size almost as big as Sophia <laughs> yes please something by Versace something for the Russians so to speak I think if it were not for the Russians and the Chinese Versace would not exist well maybe in the Gulf countries as well <laughs> and a little bit of Americans and everybody else actually who doesn't like gold you know anything from day rub with office furniture for for a hundred dollars to this place where one piece of glass costs a thousand dollars that's real the difference in Dubai and just a few kilometers away the prices will have five extra zeros at the end look at the all of this stuff what is this I mean this is something really oh my god it's so heavy the price for this is 17,000 dirhams, so that's about five, four or five thousand dollars. I'm one of those people who likes to spend money here and there sometimes, but uh, even for me, these kinds of things are a little bit overkill because this is the kind of stuff that has no value at all. I mean, you cannot really sell it later, so it's just burning money, uh, just like buying a Range Rover, unless you want to sell it right away. And even then you'll probably lose a lot of money. And for me, I like to maybe buy cars, that I can sell later for the same amount of money, maybe a little bit more money than, for example, watches. And uh, again, there are different watches. Some watches you'll buy for $50,000. As soon as you walk out, it's going to be worth 30000 And some, like some more rare Rolexes, will actually appreciate in the price. So when you actually know what the hell you're doing, you can spend money on luxury items in a smart way, which is not spending, which is just parking it in a certain luxury item. But stuff like this, furniture, and uh, these, you know, accessories for a few thousand dollars a piece for just a piece of glass is just a little bit of, of an overkill for me, to be honest. Just like, you know, the Louis Vuittons. Okay, the, the shoes might cost a few thousand for one thousand dollars. But uh, you, at least you can wear the shoe. It's nice, it's comfortable, it's stylish. So you're getting some use out of it. But when you're buying, you know, a piece of glass that you'll just put on a shelf for a few thousand dollars, it's just, for me, I mean, I can buy it, but... Uh, does it really do I want to buy it just because it looks nice? I don't know. I guess it's for people who have 
a lot of money, like hundreds of millions of dollars, just like, fuck it, it looks good. Otherwise, you have to be crazy to just spend a few thousand on a piece of nothing, basically. That's just my logic again, uh, it's a, my subjective opinion. Well, for example, about watches, Hublot. It's one of the worst watches in terms of the retail and resale value later on. So, if you're ever shopping for a Swiss watch, ask me which one you should buy. Because Hublot, for example, they're beautiful watches. The movements, my personal opinion, are not the best. And in my opinion, the heritage is not there at, at all, like Mars Piguet or Rolex, Tech Philippe, and uh, you know, all that good stuff, even Yuli Snardan. But um, Hublot, you'll buy for, you know, $25,000, $30,000, and okay, rose gold watch, maybe $40,000. As you walk out that door, it's gonna drop at least 50%. Never do something like this. Better buy a Rolex, an AP, Patek, you know, and among other brands as well. For example, Breitling right here. Sophia likes Breitling, and I do have uh, a Breitling as well, which is the Avenger Seawolf. Two, I believe. Really nice everyday watch and uh, it did not lose in, uh, in its value too much, about 30% among, I've had it for maybe four, five, six years. In general, Breitling is okay, but again, if you're looking at a higher end piece, like uh, something in rose gold, then it's a bad idea as well. Might as well go to Chrono 24 and see the actual value of the watch before you go into a boutique and buy one. Be really careful and use logic to you know, spend money on the luxury items because it's not just about being able to buy things and make the money, it's also being able to preserve the money and not piss it away on a few watches because right now market is so high up that a few high-end watches might cost you a lot of money, money that you could invest. That's why I always say that once you've made the money, spend a little bit, but then use logic and spend it in a smart way. For example, if you're getting a car, don't buy a Range Rover, buy some high-end luxury car, for example, a Ferrari 599 GTB or F430, which is gonna maintain its value and maybe go up later on. We'll see it. There are certain tendencies in the markets which you can track yourself and spend that money wisely. Otherwise, you can make a few million and in, you know, in a span of three, four years, all few million will be pissed away. And it's coming from somebody who has done it. I've lost quite a lot of money on bullshit myself, so that's why I know all of these things. And uh, this could preserve you a lot of money. On a Bentley alone uh, that I have right now, it's currently in Germany being sold because I don't need a car in Europe anymore. We'll be buying a few cars in Dubai. I've lost a couple of hundred thousand on that Bentley because it's a flying spur and it's a Moliner, so it has, you know, full options and uh, it was very, very expensive. And uh, of course, I've lost a lot of money on it. And will I ever buy a brand new car like this? No, thank you. I'd rather buy something else, something like an Aventador, first gen Aventador, which is around 200,000, but it's gonna maintain its value. Maybe a Murcielago, uh, Murcielago, whatever, however you pronounce it in English, it's gonna maintain its value. So you buy a luxury car, and then within a few years, you sell it for the same amount of money. So you've had a luxury car for free. This is also something I would love to show you in the vlogs as well, how to buy a luxury car, drive it, kick the shit out of it, sell it, and actually maybe even make some money. So if that's something that interests you, then hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, leave the comment saying that you would be interested in seeing something like this. So, also another real nice set that we finally found for our kitchen, uh, like a really light color, uh, the tea can, and a nice discount, a toaster, and a really nice uh, coffee machine, the classical style coffee machine, and uh, all for about 200 or 300 dollars, so that's good. Yes. Let's go for it. Looking at gold things again? Yes. Gold things? Yep. As always. That's the Sophia. Well, actually, in Zara home, you can get really nice Middle Eastern style towels and uh, baskets and gold and silver, silverware. 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 And uh, real cool golden towels. That's uh, what we got as well. Yeah. And I'm thinking, you know, just as a crazy idea, maybe I should get myself a G-Wagon. Maybe I should wrap it in chrome gold wrap. What do you think about it? This would be just so cliche and so Middle Eastern cliche. Let me know your thoughts on a chrome golden G-Wagon. All right, so we got ourselves a gold 
basket, real nice one, some towels, a bunch of towels, some more towels, and uh, all of that from Zara Home. And uh, real cool stuff, real neat stuff, and about $350 for everything, so good deal. We are doing our first shopping. Sophia, how does it feel? How are the groceries in Dubai? Tell me. A little bit different from all A little bit different? Yeah. A little bit more expensive as well, right? Yeah. Well, just a little bit. The selection is real good, and we'll probably do a separate video about this as well. Home. Well, so that's one hundred dollars worth of groceries in Dubai. Well, this is not gonna, gonna be exactly the care for. It's not gonna be the cheapest grocery store in there. But hundred dollars for this? Well, that beats a lot of countries and grocery stores in terms of how expensive it is. And certainly there are better ways of getting groceries just for example Talabat I think is the name of the application you can just get everything delivered to your door and that's what we'll use just for now we really wanted to try that first shopping that to be done by ourselves with our own hands so to speak so I'm packing some of the plates and these are real real nice we've spent quite a quite a while looking for them and this is going to be the Versace style. It's actually dishwasher safe with you know golden accents. So we have basically the cups for cups full for smaller plates, for bigger plates, two bigger dishes in there, some uh, tools and some uh, salad bowls as well, and also some smaller bowls for whatever. That's quite nice for our kitchen that is, you know, the light with the gold, that's real nice. And actually really, really affordable as well. You know, there are, you can get these plates for about a few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars. That also really depends on how crazy you are. And we tend to find good quality stuff that is, you know, durable, that you can wash in a washing machine and uh, use in the microwave. And at the same time, doesn't cost a fortune. So just spend an extra few hours of looking around. And we also couldn't pass up on the opportunity to get ourselves a uh, set of golden silverware. This time silverware. So what else did we get? We got ourselves some nice sets of towels and it's very important for us to have the same towel. So really small towel towels for just, you know, drying your hands with some nice golden details, really, really good quality towels. Also the medium sized towels of the same style for your, for your feet, whatever, for your face maybe. And then bigger towels of the same style. And uh, you know, it's really important to have the same style color of towels with a little gold accents, perfect for our new apartment. $120 for these maybe about $30 for these. So a few hundred dollars for towels. I know that for some of you it might be expensive, but uh, it is just, you know, there are towels that can cost $500 a piece. And that's a little bit crazy. I believe these towels are the best quality, the best material for the money. Sure, you can get some, I don't know, whatever other super smart and something very cool and luxurious for a lot more money, but for the quality and money and the purpose, which is drying your bloody body after the shower, I think this is the best combination in a long run for sure. Then what else did we get? So we got ourselves a set of tea can, a toaster and a coffee machine. And last but not least, we got really cool uh, dirty laundry basket, golden one with nice handles and nice lining inside which was about i believe it was about 500 dirhams that's about 120 dollars so a little bit costly but it was real nice in the shape it's similar to our bedroom that mirror by our bed so it's gonna fit in quite nicely so today in total for the shopping maybe we've spent maybe like a thousand dollars so not too crazy and just not too cheap like in Deira. Just don't go to Deira. You've done it once together with us. You don't need to go there physically. Mm. 
this one. And finally, we've never had a coffee machine before, but I feel like with these glasses and this view to Dubai Marina, I must have a coffee machine with a cup of coffee, walking outside in the morning and doing those uh, morning views, goals, and that Instagram bullshit that all of you like so much. It comes with a spoon and then you make it uh, nice and even. So here it is, the coffee machine. And this is gonna be where the coffee is gonna be put inside. Then you just make it and then psh, so you put it inside here. Just okay, so I'm gonna break it the first fucking moment. And then you just put it inside. Click. Psh, and this set we got all together for 1000 dirhams. Again, so it's nice looking set. That's about $300, actually a little bit less. So less than $100 a pop. I think this one was most expensive at 100 something dollars. This was at like $70, $60. So absolutely fine. Carries and does everything that you need. Toasts, tea, and just general hot water, coffee, latte, and all of it for under $300. And this is what I mean by having financial responsibility and uh, getting yourself the things that are nice, cheap, or well, relatively cheap, and carry the purpose. So once again, if you ever decide to just leave the country, you just will open the trash can and you just throw it the hell out. So that's it. If you want to, you know, live somewhere for the next 20 years and maybe it will make sense to buy yourself a $5,000 coffee machine. So that's gonna be for your children and for the children of your children, which is your grandchildren, by the way, if you didn't know, and shit like this. But uh, when you're just on the go, freedom, like me and Sophia, just let's move to Dubai, fuck it, let's do it. Then this is the stuff you buy. You don't waste money on it. And I'm going to be that uh, super luxurious individual who puts in uh, not the tap water, but rather bottled water into the, his coffee machine. Because why not? I can afford it. Watch me. Let's try some coffee. So from what I understand, you put it here. Then you do it like this. Oh, you were supposed to use this. Oh, shit. Then you put it inside. I guess that's too much coffee. Uh, <laughs> second take on the coffee. <laughs> What am I supposed to do with this? I've only seen how they do it in Starbucks. You just put it on there, then they just shove it off, the, the excerpt, and then they just connect it and press the fucking button. You must be fucking kidding me. Why is there too much again? Okay. What about now? Yes! something. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's coffee, it looks like it's... <laughs> Why is it so, um, not coffee-ish? Does anybody know how to use this shit? Por aver emptilo il serbatio con acqua naturale fresca. At least now, I know what we're supposed to do. So, the mystery is that here we have that uh, measurement spoon for the coffee and there are two different sizes of these discs that go inside of that uh, handle. And uh, so for the bigger one that I've just put in, we need two of them. So, one and two. So not more, not less. We have to press it down. And for the one we've been using before, we had to use the maximum of one spoon and that's why it was incorrect. All right. 
So take number two. <sighs> it smells like 100% natural Arabica. Arabica, whatever it is. If you have enjoyed watching this vlog, please subscribe, please hit that like button. Let's smash the likes. Let's get a 1000 or 1500 likes. The more we get, the more cool stuff will be in my vlogs because we are just getting started. As always, link to the, the webinar, trading webinar, one of the best trading webinars in the world right now is in the description. So you wanna learn how to trade properly and all the ins and outs of the financial markets, buying and selling stocks, futures, etc. and cryptocurrencies and all of that is in the description. Check it out and uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next videos. Cheers. <laughs>